Hello friends, in this video, I shall show you how to set up Python environment in your computer. As of now, the Python's download page has two concurrent versions of Python, Python 2.7.12 and Python 3.5.2. But before actually choosing either of these two, you have an option of getting yourself acquainted with the Python's, you know, keywords and rest of the other working environment by trying it online. Tutorials Point has an try it online feature called as Coding Ground, by which you can try Python's features online. Let me now show you how to use that coding ground feature and try some of the functionality of python python 3 you can get yourself acquainted with python's environment before actually installing it in you into your computer system by using this coding ground feature provided by tutorials point so you first visit this home page of tutorial, tutorialspoint.com and click on coding ground. So, it is a platform which provides you different online terminals as well as online IDEs for trying out different programming environments. So, you just scroll down, find this python 3, click on it. Now, this Try, try it online feature will come up on your screen. This is the default terminal. You can use this feature for both invoking an interpreter and executing the python statements right in front of the python prompt and also executing a script. So, first let us try invoking the python prompt by just writing python in front of this. So, there you see the triple greater than symbol which is the python prompt appears. Now, you can execute any valid python statement like if I say 2 plus 3 it will respond to me by 5. I can also say print hello world as soon as I press enter the response will be obtained. So, this is how you can invoke an uh, interpreter and execute python statements one by one. Uh, go back to the terminal by saying quit clear. Now, we will try this feature of executing a python script. So, a default script is already in front of you. You can give as many python statements as you want. and then run the script as a whole. Something like this. Now, if I say execute, the result of this script will appear in the terminal like this. So, there are different menus of available here. There is a project menu. You can create a new project, save the project. There is a file menu the regular edit menu uh, providing the cut copy paste etc. You can change the configuration of your editor all these features are available. So, this is a good place to get yourself acquainted with the python's environment both uh, in the interactive mode as well as in the scripting mode. Welcome back. Now that you have tried the environment of python 3 using code ground we will now actually see how to install python in our working computer depending on what operating system you use you have to choose appropriate you know download for python either 2.7 or 3.5 python distribution is available for windows linux mac os and 
some of the very rarely used operating systems are also supported. This is the common URL for all the platforms. If you click on this, there are different versions for different operating systems will be shown to you. You can choose whichever is suitable for your computer. Okay. So, as far as Linux operating system is concerned, the easiest way to install not only Python, any other software for that matter, is using a package manager. Different flavors of Linux use different package managers. For example, Red Hat uses RPM, then Debian versions of Linux use DPKG. Here, this syntax is showing you how to use an apt-gate command line tool, which is generally used on Ubuntu Linux op uh, operating environment. So, if you use in front of the Linux prompt, issue a command sudo apt-gate install python 3.5.2 if you choose to use 3.5. If you give this command, 3.5.2 version of python will be uh, you know, downloaded and installed. Remember to have an, an administrator or root privilege, that is why the sudo word has been attached to it. You can also install Linux right from the source also. So, if you want to download the source from the given link, you can download the tgz, the tar file, download it, extract it and follow this procedure. Configure, make, sudo, make, install. These three steps will ensure that Python is installed at its appointed place in the Linux file system. Mac OS installation of Python on Mac OS operating system is using these following steps. First of all, you have to download the source from this link, Mac OS X 10.6.pkg. This is the file. Now, this Mac OS installation requires two of these packages. One is called as Xcode. Xcode is a command line utility that you will we will need to install the C compiler, the GCC compiler which is needed to compile your source. Because this is the source, you have to compile it by using the appropriate C compiler. So, GCC compiler installation requires this Xcode. Then this Homebrew is a package manager in Mac. So, brew install python is the command that you have to issue to see that the python is installed in the Mac OS environment. As far as Windows is concerned, python's official download page provides you a setup file or even the MSI file is also available. It is also available in the form of a zip. So, here I am showing you the link to the 3.5.2.exe. Click on this, it will take you to, the, to this FTP page. From that, download the 3.5.2.exe file and follow the procedure that I am going to show after the download is over, how to install Python 3.5.2 in your computer. Let, let us first go to that link and download the file. So, there you go, we are on the download page of this uh, python.org downloads and this is showing a link for downloading python 3.5.2 for windows. The download will start. After the python's 3.5.2.exe is over, I will show you how to go through the installation process of installing python on the windows operating system. Okay. So, I will now show you how to install python in the windows operating system. 
I have already downloaded the installer Python 3.5.2 which is the latest version of Python that is available on the Python's download page. So I started by double clicking this file. Say run. Now there are two options. One is installation with the default parameters and the other is customize the installation. The default path that is shown by the installer is this one. I want to change that. So I will go for customize the installation option. Before that I will also check this option add Python 3.5 to the path and then I click on this. Most of the options are selected by default. Say next. I also check this option install for all users. Let the others options be selected and then choose my installation folder. I want to install it in this folder python 3.5. Press ok the installer will start as soon as I click on install button. It will take a certain while to initialize and then perform the installation process by copying all the libraries, all the executables and setting up the path and the other variables. So just a matter of couple of minutes. Where you see the interpreter is being installed. It is now installing the test suite. Now the documentation and the utility scripts. Then the graphics library. The pip utility. then the updating of the path followed by the standard library. It says that the setup was successful. Just close the installation wizard. The installation is over. Now to test or verify the installation open the command prompt. The command window will appear and just issue the command python. You will find that python 3.5.2 has been successfully installed. The python prompt formed by the three greater than symbols is appearing. So that means that python is successfully installed in this computer. That was about the installation. Okay, so now that we have installed Python in our working computer, we have to ensure that Python's executable is available in the working path of your operating system. As far as Windows is concerned, the Windows installer will automatically update the path variable of, uh, of our operating system by adding this c colon python 3 provided that this python 3 is the directory that you selected at the time of installation. The path will be updated to include this directory in which python.exe is present.
more or less the same thing has to be done a bit manually in Linux as well as Mac OS X is using the export command. Export path equal to the earlier path, attach the path containing the Python's installation directory by attaching it to user local bin python3. This is the directory in which python is installed by default uh, when you install it on the Linux machine. Similarly, the similar command is there for Mac OS also. So, after this path is properly set, next thing is to set up some environment variables. First is the python path. In your Python program, you may be requiring some modules to be imported. It is like using certain libraries. So when the program starts executing, Python's interpreter tries to locate or find that, that particular module. So where does Python interpreter find those modules, those different directories in which the module may be searched? that is included in the python path. Other important environment variable is python startup. Whenever you start the python interpreter for the first time, if you want some initialization activities to be done, those initialization steps or activities or commands to be executed may be mentioned in a file called as .pythonrc.py. So this file, the commands available in this file will be first executed and then your interpreter will start. So that is python startup. This environment variable is only useful if you are only on windows operating system. Python case ok. What does it mean? Otherwise python is a case sensitive language, but in windows if this python case ok variable is set, you can afford to you know sort of do the compromise between the case sensitivity of the name of the module. Python home is a sort of a alternative name to the python path. It is an alternative module search path. It is usually embedded in the python startup or python path environment variable itself. So this is actually a final step so to say in your installation process, okay, thank you.